Here's about the only way I could think of for dealing with unequal risers, unequal riser heights. Um, for example, if you have a stairway and the bottom riser is the overall height is six and a quarter inches. The second step, another six and a quarter inches. Third step, six and a quarter inches. And then we drop down to five and a half inches for the fourth riser. And of course, the fifth one being five and three quarters with an overall height of 30 inches. And uh, this obviously creates a problem. And this this particular method again is just it's it, it would be it could be used by anyone who's not planning on recutting the stairways this would be taking the stairway apart and relaying out the stringers and then reassembling it now don't forget this is one of the reasons why you need to double check all of your measurements um, throughout the entire process you know, grab a tape measure and uh, set the stringers in place, check everything, see if it makes sense, and then move forward. But, like I understand, um, you know, you can make sense out of something and, uh, you know, looking at it, it might make sense. Then when you assemble it, you think, ah, oh, crap, you know, it ain't working out. So, here's what I recommend. Refigure the individual riser height. So this would be measuring the overall total rise from top of floor to top of floor, top of first floor to top of second floor, wherever your stairs are starting and stopping. And then divide that number again into the total risers. For example, here we have a 30 inch overall total rise. And I pick 30 inches to make it easy. We have five risers. If we divide five into 30, we will get six. That will give us six inches per step of total rise. This will be the vertical or up and down measurement for each step. Now the problem is, it seems like most of the time, is that we, we either we don't for, we forget to subtract or adjust for something, a measurement along the way, and most of the time it's our bottom step. We've got to subtract the overall tread width or thickness, I should say. And in this case, we're using three quarters of an inch. We use a three quarter inch thick stair tread. So while the stringers are in place, if you've already placed them, wouldn't be a bad idea if you're having a difficult time getting a grasp on this. If you're understanding what I'm saying, you can take the stairway apart and redo it. If not, um, leave the stringers in place. It might give you a better um, idea of what you're actually doing. So if we have a six inch Overall total rise, we need to subtract our, our tread thickness, which is three quarters of an inch, from the bottom. So our first step is going to be five and a quarter inches. So measure from the ground um, to the top of the stringer. This measurement is going to be five and a quarter inches. And then from there, you're going to need to use a level and level across horizontally and um, make your next mark, which will be six inches. You won't do any further adjusting on this particular stairway for the rise. And then work your way up with six inch measurements. Level over, make a pencil mark on the stringer, um, measure up six inches, level over again, measure up six inches, level over, and so on. Now, if you come to a spot where you need to actually add material, then simply make a mark on the stair stringer and uh, consider yourself lucky because you might not need to remove the stairway. Adding material is going to be a lot easier than cutting it. If you do need to cut the stringer, I really do recommend taking it apart and cutting um, the stringer and then putting it back in place. It's going to be a lot easier. You're going to have a lot more control over everything. But the reason why I'm suggesting to leave the stringer in place is sometimes your measurements aren't going to be perfectly square or level. 
and um, your stair stringer might not be at the right um, right positioned correctly. And if you simply make your marks on the stair stringer, you can more than likely end up with some level um, steps instead of just measuring. Let's just say, for example, you're a quarter of an inch. You need to remove a quarter of an inch off of one of the steps. And your if you level across the stairway, while the stair stringers are in position and make a mark, you'll notice that it's, it might be a quarter of an inch at the front, but it's three-eighths of an inch or more at the back um, or less. And this tells you that your stair stringer layout, that, that particular part of the process wasn't done correctly. And I hope that makes sense. If not, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment area, a question, email it to me. But uh, anyway, that's it for that. Hopefully you are going to be adding material instead of subtracting it. And hopefully it's a small stairway and not a long one. If you have a long stairway, something with more than six steps, and again, this is just a, kind of a, I'm throwing it out there, it could be, it could be four steps, depending on how bad the stairway is, uh, how far you missed your measurements uh, laying out the stair stringer. Then if it's off a little too far, just take the um, stair stringers apart, um, take the stairway apart and um, recut a stair pattern, cut a new stair pattern. But this time, mind you, put the stair stringer in place and measure everything to make sure that it's going to work out correctly once you add your stair treads, decking material, and uh, flooring, whatever you're going to be adding into it. I think that's the biggest problem um, dealing with the stairs is going to be the top and the bottom steps. Those, those are going to be the critical measurements. Most of the time in between, they seem to work out. So. Uh, and, and visit the website. We got more tips uh, there in the do-it-yourself section and how to build stairs section.